Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2018. The question is fairly simple. Many of the students got it right, but yes, many of the good students also got this wrong because of uh, in the in the like you know in the process of saving some time, they got this question wrong. They tried to use the logic of SHM in this question and they made a careless error and hence they got this wrong. So we are talking about some good students over here. So we will see two approaches to solve this question. One a fairly simple regular approach and one using the same concept of SHM but we will have to be slightly careful over there. So let's see first by using the simple concept or regular method. So what's happening over here there is a mass there is a particle of mass 10 to the power minus 3 kg and charge 1 coulomb. It is initially at rest at time t equals to 0 it comes under electric field whose variation with time is e naught sin omega t that means this electric field varies sinusoidally in the positive i cap direction e naught value has been given omega has also been given we have to find we have to consider only electrical forces and we have to find the maximum speed attained by this particle now we have to realize that let's say the particle is at origin so at time 0 force starts acting in positive x direction and hence we can say the particle will start gaining speed in positive x direction. So it's very easy to see till the time force acts in positive x direction till that time particle is going to gain the speed that means it's going to accelerate. The moment force becomes negative particle is going to retard that means its speed will start decreasing and hence we'll have to see that till what time the part the force remained positive now if you see this function so it's very easy to see that the angle of sine omega t it will start from 0 at time 0 and the moment omega t becomes pi it will again become 0 if you see this graph of sinus sine function so it's like that so the moment so this is 0 this is pi by 2 and this is again pi so basically in this region the sine theta will become remain positive after this, that sin theta will become negative and hence we can say when omega t becomes pi when omega t becomes pi at that moment till that moment rather the force was positive after that force would have become negative for some time and again it will become positive sinusoidally it is repeating so we have to find the maximum speed and we have realized that the maximum speed will uh, occur when the when the value of omega t becomes pi now this question is easy so we can say that m into dv by dt so this is the force will be equal to q e naught. Now dv is equal to q q not e naught. This is q e q e. So dv will be equal to q e. Let's put the value of e q e naught sine omega t. This is q e by m dt. And hence we can integrate at time zero the velocity was zero and at time let's say omega t so this will become uh, time t will become uh, omega t becomes pi therefore we can say that t would have become pi by omega right or half the time period from 0 so this becomes v this is q e naught upon m the integration of sine theta is uh, minus cos theta upon omega and from 0 to say pi by omega let's substitute the values so q is 1, e naught is 1, m is 10 to the power minus 3 and omega is 10 to the power 3. So together they will again become 1, minus sign is here, cos of pi which is minus 1 minus cos of 0 is 1. Hence this becomes 2 meter per second. Therefore velocity will become 2 meter per second. This is the regular approach. So those students who adopted this method got this question right fairly simply. Now, some of the students thought the, uh, of doing this question by SHM and they thought that the maximum, so let, let us first discuss what those students did. So basically, they thought that maximum force is M, uh, maximum force can be written as omega M omega square A because maximum acceleration in uh, SHM is omega square A. So M omega square A is the maximum force we can say. So this will be equals to QE naught because maximum so maximum value of electric field is e naught 
so from here we can find the value of a from here we can find the value of a because m is given omega is given everything is given value of a has we can find now v max is a omega so basically from this they we, we can solve the question but this is not correct a factor of 2 is missing if you solve this you will get answer exactly half of what we have got here that means if you solve this you can see you will get answer 1 so let's just do this for you know this will be interesting so if you uh, if you see what is the value of a omega coming out so you divide this by omega itself uh, so this will become m omega a that should be equals to q e not upon omega so that means omega a becomes q e not upon m omega right now put the values q is 1 uh, e not is 1 and uh, this will become 1 again so that means 1 and hence as i said this becomes 1 meter per second which is not right now where are we going wrong let's try to analyze see what's happen what let, let's first understand what happens in shm this is the block let us say this is the mean position mp this is the positive extreme okay and this is the negative extreme let us say okay now here the velocity let's say the block is performing as a jump okay so the moment block reaches at this position and let's say it's going in the negative x direction let's say okay so it's about to go in this direction so what happens here the velocity is maximum now the moment block crosses this position jaise ye thoda sa left mein aayega force will start acting in the positive x direction so force direction of force is this so block goes 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 its momentum or we can say its velocity becomes zero from v not force is continuously acting in positive direction again it comes back to this position its velocity again becomes v not and force is still acting in positive direction so basically in this whole half oscillation force was acting in the positive x direction its velocity becomes uh, zero from v not and again it becomes v not so if you see the change in momentum it's 2 mv not from here till here correct and the force continuously was acting in the positive direction in this cycle half cycle now in our case what is happening when the particle starts from zero the force is acting in the positive direction the force is zero here and it start it starts acting in the positive direction and velocity is also in the positive velocity is being created in the positive direction we have to understand this so till the time force will complete its half cycle we realize that this is the uh, this is the half cycle of the force the velocity will be created that means velocity will continuously being you no know, added up that means velocity hamesha badhta jayega velocity will getting well, uh, acceleration ki wajah se velocity will continuously increase so if you apply the concept of system you have to think the change in the momentum change in the momentum will be again 2 mv not correct see yahan se yahan tak force ka half cycle complete hua yahan pe already velocity negative hoti hai to force ka jo half cycle matlab force ka half cycle kya karta hai pehle is negative velocity ko zero karta hai एंड अगेन जीरो से पॉजिटिव पे लेके आता है बट जब यहां पे फोर्स का हाफ साइकिल से अपन यहां स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं दैट तो यहां पे वेलोसिटी जीरो है ऑलरेडी दैट मींस ये टू ए ओमेगा तक पहुंच जाएगा इफ यू थिंक फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ चेंज इन मोमेंटम तो वो टू वी नॉट का चेंज आ जाएगा तो आंसर वुड हैव बीन टू ए ओमेगा आई होप आई वॉज एबल टू कन्विंस यू की वॉट वेंट रॉन्ग इन दिस मेथड it's not that it is not applicable it is certainly is applicable it's just that the we, we were required to be slightly careful so 2 a omega answer hoga hamara and hence we can say that uh, 2 meter per second would have been the correct answer so 2 a omega use karke 2 meter per second aa jayega right i hope you would have enjoyed this solution that's it thank you